12 News got an inside look at an estimated hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage inside the Bristol County House of Corrections. It all happened in two housing units two weeks ago when inmates protested moving to new cell blocks. Alexandra Leslie is live outside the correctional facility in Dartmouth after walking through that damage. So we got to go inside two housing units and one housing unit had significantly more damage than the other. The sheriff told me that most of the damage occurred in the first hour of what would turn into a six hour standoff. Inmates couldn't get into all the different housing units by home. It took investigators about two weeks to document and catalog evidence inside two housing units at the Bristol County House of Correction. They've removed the contraband, they've removed the weapons, they've also taken out the personal effects, get those personal effects back to the um, inmates that they belong to. Sheriff Paul Haro told us when that was complete, he felt it was important media and state reps got to see for themselves. 12 News cameras captured broken phones, security cameras, a heating unit ripped from the wall to be used as a battering ram, showers that were lit on fire, and much, much more. The repairs are estimated to cost one to two hundred thousand dollars. The materials isn't necessarily the expensive part. It's everything around it. It adds up really quickly. Tension started after inmates were supposed to move to different cell blocks where cell doors lock. These damaged units don't have locks on cell doors since each don't have toilets. The sheriff told us it would cost millions to add both toilets and locks to doors. He told reporters he feels the facility could be much safer, noting only half of the 22 units have locking cell doors and some inmates at the facility are very dangerous. Some of these inmates are on um, charges such as murder. Assaults will continue to occur, of course, but it will reduce um, that significantly where you don't have 80 inmates out at once. And we were also shown unredacted surveillance video of correctional officers responding to the scene. We couldn't roll on that because of inmate privacy reasons, but the sheriff wanted to highlight it because he says it showed professionalism from those officers. We're told that video will be publicly released eventually. The charges for the inmates accused of causing the damage are still pending. Live in Dartmouth, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Well, now at six, our cameras got a look at the damage inside the Bristol County House of Corrections two weeks after a standoff with inmates. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The Bristol County Sheriff estimates inmates did about one to two hundred thousand dollars worth of damage to two housing units. Alexandra Leslie is live outside the House of Corrections in Dartmouth to tell us what else she observed. Alex. Well, though we did receive photos of the damage from the sheriff's office last week, seeing this in person was an entirely different experience. It took investigators two weeks to document and catalog all of the evidence, and now the cleanup starts tomorrow. 12 news cameras were allowed inside two Bristol County housing units where inmates were in an hours long standoff with correctional staff two weeks ago. One housing unit received significantly more damage than another. Was it a matter of minutes? Was it a matter of the whole six hour standoff? Most of the damage was done in the first hour. Sheriff Paul Haro told me they know that because video footage shows it. So for the, some critics who have said, well, if you'd gone in right away, you wouldn't have had as much damage. Maybe not, but people would have gotten hurt. Repairs are estimated to cost between one and $200,000. Staff acknowledged it could be months to get the housing units in shape. After the renovation of all the damage that was done. The units were already scheduled to undergo renovations to make them more suicide resistant, like refitting these bedposts to be less hazardous. Haro says the inmates were upset because they were going to be moved to new cells that had locks. The units that were destroyed did not lock in the cells because there were no toilets inside them. The sheriff says half of the units at the correctional facility do not have locks on doors. This is a truly unique situation. Now the sheriff told us to install new toilets alone would cost five and a half million dollars while installing locks on the doors would be another several million dollars. He invited state reps on today's tour also so that they could come and give that information back to people at the state house. Reporting live in Dartmouth, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.